I'm Corey with MoTeC. Today we're going to take a two-wheel drive 6L80 transmission and convert it to a four-wheel drive transmission. So we're going to start with removing the tail shaft housing. Save the bolts and we reuse them. Tail shaft housing you don't need. The O-ring, discard it. Most of these transmissions will have a sleeve here. You just tap it and it will come off and discard it. Now you notice we'll have three open areas. The two plugs and where the seal is going to ride. On a four-wheel drive, there's a seal here. So you replace it with a four-wheel drive output shaft seal. A makeshift installer out of an exhaust pipe. Make sure it's completely flush, and that solves that issue. Now, what to do with these two holes here is install a pipe plug. So we're gonna run a quarter inch pipe tap, standard quarter inch pipe tap, and meanwhile, we don't want any shavings falling into the transmission, so we're gonna use a vacuum, and we're gonna actually suck against it to keep the shavings from falling into the tap. And it's really easy, the hole is the right size. That's one done. Now the other one. Okay, when you install the plugs, use a little bit of thread locker. Do not use Teflon tape. Pipe plugs seal against the thread, so using a good thread locker will allow the threads to seal into the housing of the trans. Using a Teflon tape it will probably wear out and it will leak. So now the next step is to cut the shaft down. On a four wheel drive, the shaft is shorter. To do that, use the four wheel drive adapter, set it up flush. Right now we're just installing the one bolt to hold the adapter in place. Now, all we're doing is we're cutting the shaft flush with the end of this. So I'm going to mark it here, roll it around, and mark it there, all the way around. And we're going to take a cutoff tool and cut it in half.
So now we got the tail shaft cut down. This is the depth of the gear now, the housing. So, flush. Go ahead and smooth it. So you'll notice the two pipe plugs, it's sealed, and now we got the shaft which is cut down. So when we put the gear on, all you gotta do is bolt the gear on, no o ring. And the shaft is right towards the end. And that's how you convert a two-wheel drive to a four-wheel drive.